What's up, everyone? Tim here back again. I told you I'm going to do a little bit more top fives. I'm not going to like keep on um, being in this room, but uh, within later on, you'll see more top fives. I hope, hopefully. But um, you know, as I say, hopefully, there's a lot of stuff lately to do, other than what I love to do on here. John Hughes, I miss him. I just wish he was still here. And it's just still, I could imagine the movies he would have written and possibly direct. Let's uh, go through ranking his eight films. Let's do this. Starting with number eight, Curly Sue. Yeah, thank God someone agrees. Jordan, yes, you agree. I agree too. James Belushi, you're not your brother, uh, kid, or whatever the hell you are. Uh, I know she's older than me now, but the little twerp they had play Curly Sue was annoying. Um, she was the annoying daughter from Parenthood, which should have had a friggin' shotgun and. Should have, you should have used a shotgun on that, on her. Um, it wasn't, you know, really irritated. Like, people laugh at Macaulay Culkin and Michael Oliver. At least those kids had talent and knew what they were doing. This kid, what the hell? Honestly, John. John, you, you could have directed career opportunities. You could have directed Dutch. You could have directed whatever. You could have directed your own something, a different, um, the, then oil is that oil and vinegar, the the uh, last good year. You could have done these. So much of these scripts that you you wanted to do, you could have directed one of these scripts for a 1991 release because of the success of Home Alone. You could have done this. You did this piece of garbage. <sighs> Forgive me, John. This movie sucks. Number eight. Number seven. 16 Candles. I like it. It's the 80s. It's classic. But it's it's not <clears throat> as what, like, Breakfast Club or Weird, Weird Science. It's just, it's 16 Candles. It's, uh, Molly Ringwald being whiny. Um, yeah, the... They forgot and all of that. Okay, that is pretty mean. <laughs> but you have an annoying brother. You have so many, like, things that you really did that in real life. Holy shit. You probably have a restraining order. Um, but that's the 80s. Uh, still good. You know, I love... The little references to the Beatles, like what he usually always did. Um, 16 Candles. Number six, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It used to be Ferris Bueller's Day Off was, was originally going to be seven, but then I'm like, Michael Broderick, I couldn't stand him in it, but the one that got me over was Jennifer Grey and Charlie Sheen. <clears throat> that whole scene. I thought that was hilarious. So, <laughs> number five is uh, She's Having a Baby. One of those movies that I really like. I like the, the performances. I like the little... Um, 
references and stuff and really nice movie. Um, pretty funny with Plains James and all. Same character. Same character. That's what I see. So, yeah. Number four is Uncle Buck. John Candy, I Miss You. Macaulay Culkin. Uh, being Macaulay Culkin. I like, I'm a Macaulay Culkin fan. I like how we see a uh, little uh, foreshadowing for um, Home Alone, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. Number three goes to Mm -hmm. Breakfast Club. People think this is dumb. People think this is stupid. Like, most people, I don't. I don't understand. I went through it like the. <clears throat> I was more of a like mixture of. Uh, How's her name? Allison and um, uh, Anthony Michael Hall's characters. Uh, was it Brian? Um, a little mixture of them. And, uh, I understand. I like this. Like, I really un enjoyed, uh, this type of film. Because of John. John really... He... Is exactly how Steven Spielberg is with, with children. How he, he, he's the voice. And he, he... The way he is, like, Spielberg with Goonies. Um... You know what I mean? Like Spielberg with Goonies or um, Little Giants. Like, you're not dumb. You're not stupid. You're going through phases. You're going through things. And John Hughes was like that with Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles. And um, his writing, him writing with Pretty in Pink and she's a uh, whole, you know, uh, kind of, some kind of wonderful, which I'm going to do top five of uh, his writing stuff. So don't worry. So, yeah. Definitely. Number two, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Beautiful music. These two have such great chemistry, uh, funniness. Um, due date, you're got nothing on Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Uh, I cry. Pretty depressing by the end. I like me. My wife likes me. Like it's one of my favorite lines in a in a film. Now, um, wonderful. R.I.P. John. R.I.P. To both Johns. And that's both. That's John Hughes's favorite movie he did. Steve Martin's favorite movie he did, and John Candy's favorite movie he did. So it's like, you know. Now, my number one favorite is Weird Science. My number one favorite John Hughes movie because, again, and like basically the Brian character from Breakfast Club is kind of like this character. It's basically, you know, and uh, I like the, the cre I like the premise, the creativity, um, something, it's just hard R. WTF moments. Uh, Kelly LeBron being hot as hell. Uh, this kind of inspires something I'm writing. Um, where they're, they're trying... They have this girl. And um, they're doing something to make her... And then she's like turns into the cyber... Kind of... It's... Weird Science is kind of like a... Inspiration to that. What I'm doing. Called Fishnets. Um... So, got to thank John Hughes for that idea. And uh, now they want to remake it with girls being the nerds and a guy being... Come on. Classic film. Robert Downey Jr. is in this. Bill Paxton. Um, Anthony Michael Hall. Uh, just fun time. Great soundtrack. Hot Women fun nice blast it's just a blast to the past love this film my favorite john hughes movie that was my my ranking of my john hughes movies hope you like this
Love you all. Bye. See you soon.